So we're here at the Freeman Diversion with United Waters Freeman Diversion here on the Santa Clara River. And oh my gosh, look who's here! It's the great Evan Lashley, ESRM graduate, uh, uh, gamefully employed, environmental professional, uh, 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 expert on all things practical and impractical. I just threw that one in because that, sound, <laughs> that sounded good. Um, so, okay, so Evan, so uh, tell us about uh, uh, what ESRM was like for you and then maybe what your career path when you were in school and then what led you to this current position here at United Water? Sure, yeah. Um, I finished. I, I should also say we're recording this in February of 2021 with COVID still around. That's why you have a mask on. ESRM was a wonderful program for me. I think I graduated in 2013 um, and I had a, a lot of freedom to, to choose certain parts of the curriculum um, that particularly interested me and sort of build a, a, a classroom experience and field experience uh, through the program that helped populate my resume on the, on the way out. Um, and I'm currently working as an environmental scientist for United Water Conservation District. Um, I got to this position uh, starting in school while I was still at CI. I was working actually as a part-time field technician for United Water um, and also for the National Park Service at Channel Islands. Um, and after graduating, uh, getting that experience uh, as a technician, helped me land a job with a small biological consulting firm out, out of Ojai with a guy named David Magney. The great not, David Magney. Not in the area anymore, but he's running the rare plant program for the California Native Plant Society. Botanical expert extraordinaire. Indeed. Um, I worked for him for about a year. Uh, got some really great, uh, and diverse and well-rounded experience uh, before coming back to a full-time position here at United Water, which I've been at for going on six years. Wow, now. it's been that long. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Uh, and putting all of those uh, skills that I learned about balancing resource management in school to the test, because uh, <laughs> water management in the area Southwest is no, uh, no simple nut to crack. That's for sure. Cool. And so, and so uh, tell us about, so in your, now obviously you're getting older, so you're doing more, as we tend to get older, we tend to do more management and get in charge of more people. But that's right. But as of right now on, on uh, I mean, we're in COVID still as we're recording this, but, but give us a sense of what a typical day is for you uh, or, or an average week or something like that. Yeah. My, my, uh, my time lately, especially has been um, pretty well split between the office and the field. So um, a lot of my time is spent in front of a computer, um, reading, writing and reviewing technical documents, um, uh, analyzing data sets, uh, managing, uh, managing my team. So I'm now actually managing a field crew. I've got a, a crew of six that, that uh, tackle all of our routine field work. One full-time team leader and five part-time technicians, uh, which is exactly the position I started in. I think we've got three CI alumni on that team right now. Um, so I encourage everybody to apply. We always uh, always float those job opportunities through the department, through, through uh, Dr. Anderson, whenever they come around. Um, and so my, my office time is a lot of, you know, well, more, more meetings than I ever, <laughs> ever guessed I would be sitting in on, um, technical reading and writing. Uh, I do, I do my own GIS work as well, um, which is kind of unique, I think. Um, and, and some personnel management, a lot of equipment management, and then I get to spend a lot of time in the field as well. So I'd say currently my time is close to 50, 50 time in the office, time in the field. Uh, the field time is um, split between coordinating with the different departments here at United Water, be it our groundwater department or our operations and maintenance department, uh, to do certain field investigations, uh, hydrologic investigations, water quality investigations, um, and a lot of biological stuff as well, um, and operations also. So I'm the lead operator on the fish ladder here at the Freeman Diversion. And when it rains, uh, it, uh, it keeps me really busy out here at the Freeman, um, making sure everything is running the way it should. How much would you say of, uh, say for example, of field teams and, and, and things that are more directly related to biological resources that you have to do, how much of your time is devoted to, let's say, endangered species versus, say, invasive species versus mm -hmm. sort of more general habitat 
management, conservation stuff. I would say endangered species and invasive species both drive the lion's share of my work. Um, I would probably guess that in, uh, in one direction or another, an endangered species are driving probably 80% of my workload. Um, so we have um, uh, endangered Southern California steelhead in the Santa Clara River where the Freeman Diversion here is. This facility also is surrounded by some of the best riparian habitat in the region as well and absolutely loaded uh, with federally listed least bells vireo, which is a riparian bird. Um, and you know as, as waterways and habitats such as this are in increasingly rare uh, uh, supply in, in Southern California, these habitats and the creatures within are, are also so. Um, and so uh, endangered species work, I think, is, is like I said, the bulk of it, but we also do quite a bit of um, invasive species work as well. Uh, some vegetation management, mostly tamarisk work up around Lake Piru, um, and other folks in my department, um, and especially for the field crew, Quagga mussel monitoring and management um, is uh, the invader is a big, big uh, component of our work. So that's a freshwater invasive mussel that has invaded Lake Piru, and so we have a very robust monitoring program uh, to document exactly, you know, the exactly what the mussels are doing in the lake in terms of um, population, reproduction, um, and how those trends are influenced by environmental factors. Um, and so I'm not working on the quagga stuff too much these days. I was quite a lot when I got started um, and I've been shifted more into um, into Freeman related stuff. Huh. And so uh, so you mentioned uh, uh, meetings, but uh, what else would uh, a seven year ago a, a, a ESRM undergrad Evan be surprised at about your, your career right now? What, what's the most surprising thing that you didn't think uh, you'd be doing or experiencing? Huh. I, uh, that's a good question. Got, um, board presentations too is another one that I wasn't, wasn't quite ready for <laughs> having to put on a, a, a suit and tie and, and present to our board of directors about the work that I'm doing. Um, preparing regulatory correspondence is, uh, extremely dry, but extremely valuable skill to have. Um, and the, the sheer amount of, of uh, digesting technical material is, is uh, something that I kind of took for granted in school and didn't think that I would be spending a whole lot of time doing, but um, definitely take your time to brush up on your technical reading and writing skills because it goes a long, long way and it's a, a crucial part of the job. Awesome. So I love it. I didn't even tell you to say that. You said it. So you talked about geospatial skills. You talked about writing, communication, uh, analytic stuff. What else? Is there anything else that uh, an undergrad who's thinking about, well, what, what elective should I take? Or, or what are some, some skills I should be honing while I'm here as an undergrad? Anything else you would add to that list besides the communication and writing and stuff? Yeah. Um, when I was uh, when I was that age in school, I was definitely gung ho, go work outside with wildlife. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Um, and so, if if that's the the direction that you like to go, I strongly encourage you to develop your field ID skills, your species ID skills, plants, animals, everything. Whatever. If if there's something in particular that interests you, focus on it. But um, learning as much about all of it as you can, I think is extremely valuable and a huge asset uh, to, uh, to your resume and, and to potential recruiters. Um, if you wanna go work for a consulting firm, a lot of the work that they do is bioassessment, which is literally going out to a site and trying to identify everything that's there and, and determine how all of those things might be affected by whatever project is, it may or may not be proposed for that site. And so uh, field ID is really important. Um, learn your way around field equipment too. One of the things I really enjoy about this job is I get to work a lot with some really cool technology uh, to try and answer some of, some of the questions that we're working with. So uh, drones, water quality probes, um, uh, discharge measurement devices, which uh, 
is a nifty one that actually measures the flow of water using the Doppler effect or sort of the degradation of sound as it travels past you. Um, uh, RTK GPS setups. Um, we're trying to we're currently trying to modernize our whole department and digitize our whole workflow and get cool. away from paper data sheets cool. um, and sort of get into a whole nice workflow that is go to the field, collect your data on a tablet and have that tablet automatically sync when you get back to the office and upload all that data to a database. Um, awesome. And so I, uh, I, can't, I can't stress enough, try and, try and learn your way around the technology and how it interfaces with that natural world as best you can. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. And then how about, to, let's end with, uh, what was the, what, what's the most enjoyable aspect of your, what, what part of your job is it just always fun to do, always dig? It's probably that, that aspect of getting to use some really cool tools in the field to answer some really complicated questions. Um, and uh, a lot of the projects that I work on are, are really complicated and uh, sort of long and ongoing and so I often don't get the closure of you know it's right. complete the, the report right, is right, done right, right. send it off move on right. to the next thing um, but uh, working through the iterative process and refining our field techniques and improving the quality of our data and our work in the field uh, which in turn improves the uh, the quality of our operations of this facility and and ensures that we're really doing uh, approaching water management in the most responsible way possible is is uh is it awesome evan lashley successfully employed gamefully employed happily employed all right my brother that was good that was good all right you guys should hit him up if you guys have questions about anything about internships or any exciting things